the cattle around it will rest on the sunset trail where a pal is the best and by friends we're surrounded we'll rest on the sunset trail What's the matter? Don't you like music, Lieutenant Cameron? Sometimes. Until we cross the veil When the sun's in the west And the last call is sounded We'll rest on the sunset trail Take them back. Well, hey, what do I get out of this? You get to keep your hair if you win. Is Troop A ready? Ready, sir. Troop B? Ready, sir. Get set. Help. Help! 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 Help!
next to fall him out, and I'll help you. I can't hold him long. Get going. They're springing out now. Troop A is in the lead, but Troop B is close behind. Autry and Cameron are holding back, letting the others set the pace. It's going to be a great race. Heck, the race. What's Frog doing? <laughs> Well, Frog's leading by eight paces, but the Indian's running strong. The horses are nearing the halfway mark. It's still anybody's race. Audrey and Cameron have moved into fourth and fifth places. Trooper Brand of Troop A is leading. Oh, Brand's horse fell. What a spill. Troop B is now leading. They're at the halfway mark. Now they're heading back. Troop A is taking the lead again. Frog has lost ground to the Indian. He's only two paces in front. The Indian's gaining. Frog stumbles. He's down. The Indian stumbles. They're both down. The Indian's got him. He's scalping him. No, he doesn't wait. Frog scalping the Indian. <laughs> Don't alarm. Frog again. They're trying to get up. Frog is up. The Indian's up. They're off again. Frog has a good lead. Hair raise raise I ever hear. The horses are nearing the home stretch. Cameron is riding hard with Hutray links behind. Troop A is still in the lead. Cameron is creeping up, but Hutray won't be shaken off. He still got the links behind. Cameron's pulling ahead. He's leading by two lengths. It looks like the race is his. Now, it isn't. Watford's closing in. Look at him ride. Look at him ride. He's coming up. He's coming up. Right, right, you ride. They're neck and neck. They're still neck and neck. Neither horse will let the other pass. What a race. Look at that ride. Look at him come. What horses, what riders, what a race. Come on, Jean. Come on, go. Why don't you make up your mind? They're still neck and neck. It's going to be a tie. It's going to be a tie. No. No, it isn't. What we pulling ahead. He's pulling ahead. Deserves all the credit. You were wonderful, Lieutenant. I'm glad you won. Thanks. And you were wonderful too, Bob. I'm sorry you lost. Maybe we should give him one bet, so he won't be too jealous. Or two. Two would make me jealous. <laughs> Who won? Well, good for you. You can run even if you can't ride. Hi there, Proffer. Kind of late for Shindig, ain't you? Where's the Colonel? Over there. What's it? Engines. Sorry to bust in on you, Colonel, but Injun just stole some of my horses. Must be one of Tavibo's renegade band. Anybody hurt? Yes, sir. Two Injuns. That's the way you Texans keep them on the warpath. Now, the policy of the government is to avoid hostilities. But I'll give them, madam, my immediate attention. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Cameron. Lieutenant Cameron, a band of Indians stole some of that man's stock. You will take Scout Jones here and a squad of your men and bring them to the post for counsel. Pardon me, sir. May I suggest, sir, that uh, Lieutenant Autry and some of his men go along also? Being acquainted with the country, they would help considerably. Uh, Scout Jones is very confident, sir, and I'm afraid that we couldn't be much help. On the contrary, I think Lieutenant Cameron's point is very well taken. Lieutenant Autry will take some of his men and accompany him. Very good, sir. Did you say you were going to a dance tonight? Nice work, Cameron. Thanks. But Colonel Summerall deserves all the credit. Well, boys, we're heading into the Peace River country now. My plan is to spread out and surprise the Indians. Surprise them? With this 10 outfit, 
<laughs> we couldn't make more noise with a regimental band. We are only carrying regulation equipment. And I have no authority to discard it. Long knives, hunt stolen horses. I give signal, surround, fight. We will be ready, no people. Engine. Halt! Comanches, but they're making peace signs. They want a powwow, but I think it's a war party. What makes you think so? War paint. War paint is hardly reason to mistrust their peace signs. Besides, there's only three of them. Lieutenant, when you see engines, be careful. And when you don't see engines, be more careful. Tell them to advance and we'll hold a council with them. Think you're walking into a trap? That's my responsibility, Audrey. Sure, but we're with you. Remember, men, no firing unless I give the order. Soldier, too quick. Shoot. Bad medicine. No fight today. What? You ride right behind me, Davis. We'll need your horse for the wounded buck. hit by a stray bullet. He's dead. Soldier know the signal? Soldier know many things. One time ranger. But for him, our belt would be heavy with the scouts with long knife. Tavibo will not forget Ranger. And in the ensuing exchange of shots, Trooper John Davis was killed. Now, according to this report, Lieutenant Autry, you opened fire against the strict orders of your senior, Lieutenant Cameron. Is that true? Yes, sir. And you, Scout Jones, did you fire? I always fire, Colonel, when I see the Indians. That's why I stayed for the healthy. What have you to say for yourself, Lieutenant Autry? I'm positive the Indians were trying to draw us into ambush. I only shot to prevent the one with the mirror from giving the signal. Did anybody see the Indians in ambush? No, sir. Didn't have to see them, Colonel. Indians don't carry mirrors to see how pretty they are. Bring in Duval, the interpreter, and the Indian prisoner. Sent for me, Colonel. Ask him his name and what their purpose was in stopping my men. What's that? Trenum, Goi, Hibatam, Nemika. He says his name is Bobtail Horse, but 
he and two other Indians had just killed a buffalo and they wanted to trade some meat for sugar and coffee with these fellows. Apple sad. Indians don't go out hunting buffalo in war paint. Scout Jones apparently isn't well acquainted with Comanches, Colonel. Is that so? There ain't no kind of Indians I don't know about. Well, I've known Bobtail Horse a long time. He's a good Indian. There ain't no such thing. Well, if he's a good Indian, maybe he'll tell us who's supplying to Debo and his men with cavalry rifles and ammunition. We have no proof of that, Lieutenant Autry. Well, someone is. I'm not interested in your groundless suspicions, Lieutenant. Tell him he may go. What's this? Lieutenant Autry, I find you guilty of seriously jeopardizing our treaty negotiations with the Indians, of rank disobedience to orders, and of being a direct cause of the death of Trooper John Davis. I cite you for general court-martial and guarantee that you will be reduced to the rank of Trooper. As for you, Scout Jones, I fine you one month's pay. That's okay, Colonel. I don't need the five dollars anyhow. <clears throat> You know, I personally think that Autry's suspicions are unfounded. But you keep your eyes and ears open, Duval, and see if anyone is selling arms and ammunition to the Indians. I'll do that, Colonel. And because of the large wagon train of settlers and supplies due during the month, I think it would be advisable to sign the peace treaty with the Indians as quickly as possible. And thus we'll assure the safe arrival of the wagon train. I'll speak to the chiefs, Colonel, and arrange a meeting. Good. Suspicious. <clears throat> There's something mighty queer about that Duval, Kyle. Yeah, he did seem glad when the Colonel let Bobtail Horse go. I don't know Comanches. Well, dang his hide, I cut my teeth on a Comanche Tommy Hall. I just saw Bobtail Horse going into the cantina. That's Duval's place, isn't it? Yeah. Round up some of the boys. You going to grab him? Now that we're going to take a look around. Listen closely to Tavibo. In the next moon, many wagons come to port carrying guns and supplies. White Colonel wants to sign treaty with India. You tell Chief, Tavibo says we must sign. Then Colonel's eyes will be closed and he will leave the wagons for the guard. Bob Tail Horse and Stan. Tavibo wise. Wait.
going on here? These two men got in a fight over this girl. I'll have to place you under arrest, Osby. Come on. Well, what happened? Well, boys, the colonel just asked me for my resignation. You mean they're kicking you out just for fighting in the cantina? That's right. Well, I just joined on account of you. I'm quitting. Come on. Now, wait a minute, boys. You can't quit like that. You've got to wait until your enlistment expires. Think so? Come on, fella. Uh, Fiddles on a dirty card case. He's eating them cards. Look at him. Hold about half of them, Frog. Mm. <coughs> oh, gosh, that does. It must have been a spade. Mm, that and pickle must have been the joker. Mm. They tell me that frogs are hard to digest, but I'm not ready to digest yet. Oh, gosh, you feel sick. Mm. Oh, mm, so, oh, 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 <laughs> oh.
say the Indians have signed a treaty with the Colonel. Where are they now? They're in jail. Good, they'll talk when they get hungry. What's their next move? I'm leaving right away with a detachment of men to meet the supply train at Buffalo Wells. You'll be in charge during my absence. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Hostler and his men have got crazy crew and bobtail horse in jail. Major Crosby and the Rangers are riding out to Buffalo Wells to meet the supply train. You get to that supply train first. Tell them the Colonel sent you. That the Indians are waiting for them at Buffalo Wells and to come through Coyote Pass instead. Rangers have a prisoner already, have they? No, just a couple of Indians. Why? You'll never be able to keep them in that old jail. Why not? Why, the bars are loose on that back window. Didn't you know that? No. <laughs> immediately. Sorry, Colonel, but I can't do that until they answer some questions. If you have any questions of importance, submit them to me, and I'll take care of the matter. You had that chance and didn't take it. The signing of the peace treaty made those Indians wards of the United States government and removes them from your jurisdiction. Ah, that treaty isn't worth the paper it's written on. As Colonel in the United States Army, I demand that you turn those men over to me at once. And as Lieutenant of the Texas Rangers in command of this post during the absence of Major Crosby, I'm forced to refuse. Unless you turn those men over to me at once, I'll order my men to fire upon you. We're with you, Gene. You can start shooting whenever you're ready. Lieutenant, prepare to fire. Prepare to load. Can you imagine going around with your gun empty? Load. All right, Colonel, you win. We can't afford to kill the men we're going to need. Lieutenant, return carbines. Return carbines. All right, Ruth. Come on with me. Murder of these Indians. Yes, please. 
Well, I'll be a horn toad. Imagine getting arrested because a couple of engines got killed. Hey, Horseface, how much longer are we going to have to stay in this calaboose? Mm, don't worry, you'll be out pretty soon. Well, sure. We're going to take you murderers out, stand you against a wall, and shoot you full of lead. After fighting Indians all my life, a bunch of tin soldiers has got to get me. Well, it's the worst disgrace in being scout. Oh, I don't think they're going to shoot you, Ruth. You see, you were only acting under my orders. Dang your hide. Do you think I'm going to let you stand up there alone? No, sir. I'm going where you go to guard her. Halt! What do you want? Well, I want to talk to the president. You'll have to leave your gun out here. Hey, let me in here. Get in there. Get in there. Get back here. You want them a scout. Come around tomorrow and you get two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't get me that time. Ain't that pretty? Look. <laughs> Little wolf catch them someday. <laughs> Never mind the scalping. What'd you find out? The wagon train is coming by the way of Coyote Pass. Tell my men to go out and what men? There ain't no men here. They're all out hunting Wilson. Well, I hope they find you. Maybe we'll clear up the murder of those Indians. A fine how they do. We're in jail, the rangers at Buffalo Wells, and the supply train right where to V-Boat wanted. Have you seen Duval? Yes, he rode east right after that scout came. Why, that's in the direction of Coyote Pass. And the wagon train. Well, we've got to get out of here some way. Wait till I spread my wings. Thank you, fellow Singh. Huh? Start singing and make some noise. I want to flatten out this tin plate. This jail's getting him. We better humor him and sing. Some local. La, 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 La 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 la. Now you fix it so you can't eat off of it. What are you going to do with it? Never mind that. Just saddle our horses and trot them by out here in front of the guardhouse. Horses? Yeah, horses. Them things you fall off of. Yeah, but Jay, don't worry about that. Just get out of here. Hey, hey, let me out of here. We don't want nothing except being left alone. You'll be alone a long time after tomorrow. Where's that other plate? What plate? Got the hungry and must add it. You don't get any stew till you find that other plate. Idea. Why, I was just wondering what time it is. What do you care? You ain't going no place. That was a close one. I say it was. There comes strong. Get ready, boys. Is this 
that's what you're looking for? the Buffalo Wells and tell Major Crossy to get to the supply train at Coyote Pass as quick as he can. We'll meet you there. Say, I almost forgot something. You know, Dixie told me to tell you that she didn't think you was no murderer. <laughs> she did, huh? Yeah, and she said she would have come to see you herself, only the Colonel wouldn't let her. Right? Say, this ain't no time for lollygagging. Get going. What are we waiting on? The cavalry. Are you loco? It ain't gonna be healthy for us if he catches up with us. Well, it isn't gonna be healthy for that supply train if we don't have a convoy. And we're leading them there? That's right. But what's gonna happen if the Indians don't attack? Yeah, but they will. No fear. We may be shot without any sentence.
bet you make it ten straight. But man, this is war. Sure, Colonel, that's what we're gonna try to get him. Get their breath, Colonel. They'll be back. I'm afraid we can't withstand another attack. Maybe we won't have to if the Rangers get here. Rangers? Yep. The frog went to get them, and if he didn't fall off his horse, they'll be here pretty soon, too. Hey, look, Colonel. The Rangers. Got it, they come. A new gun that treaty a hold now. Well, Colonel, I'm glad to see you've still got your hair. Major, I want to apologize for the way I've acted. Texas does need the Rangers. And I want to apologize for my attitude, Colonel. Texas needs the cavalry, too. Hanged if you ain't both right. Together, they ain't nothing we can't take care of. Yeah. 